hello fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in today. Today on the channel, we will bring you the weight from First Line Shave, along with the matching splash. This just came in. I didn't have a chance to do an unboxing. I really wanted to do this uh, today. Um, and it's Friday, so I kind of used to do this thing. I think Ken started it back several months ago when I was first starting um, and at First Line Friday. And so it's Friday, First Line. Just got in, no unboxing video. I'm gonna be using the Rockwell 6S on a three plate on the R3 with a fourth use NASA blade in there. I have to change my blades next week. Uh, I'm using the PAA, I figured the red and black kind of go with the weight, um, Amber Aerolite brush, synthetic, and we're all lathered up. And my brother-in-law printed 3D designed Roger Quintero, Roger Quinn bowl available on Thingiverse if you have a 3D printer. So. My brother-in-law does, fortunate for me. All right, I'm gonna wet the face and then we'll get started. As per usual, we're running short on time today. Uh, by the way, this mister, I rather like it. I got it uh, after watching IMCDB use it a few times. At first I thought, ah, I don't really need the mister, but um, I found it on Amazon. I do put a link to it in the description my videos. Again, uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, by the way. Uh, if you've been here a while, thanks for the continued support. And um, I do try to link things in the description just for your information. At this point, I'm, uh, you know, this is self-funded, so they're not affiliate links. I'm not getting paid by anybody. If I ever get anything for free, which is uh, pretty uncommon, but I will certainly tell you, nobody's ever sent me anything to test or try. Um, but occasionally I've been gifted stuff by either other fellow YouTubers, wet shavers, um, so forth. So anyways, got a coffee today. There's a place, uh, Fuel Your Story. There's a place uh, locally called Black Rock Coffee. Very good. My wife got up early this morning and uh, went out and got some coffee while I was on the Peloton bike. And yes, there's my Peloton reference. I did it on the bike this morning. I'm behind on my rides this week. All right, switch it up today with the Rockwell. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, man, this thing is just so smooth on the R3. Um, I'm thinking next week, I'm gonna do a comparison video with the Game Changer and the Lupo. And um, so, I'll put new blades in those when I do that. But the R3 um, plate works so well for me on the Rockwell 6S. Um, I mean, just it's just so smooth. It's a great razor. I mean, this is probably my... Eh, this and the carb kind of go back and forth. I haven't used the carb in a while, but um, that's my favorite razors. All right, so the scent on this is really nice. I don't know if it's still available. I picked mine up from the razor company, um, and it just got here yesterday. I bought it on release day, which was last Thursday. I don't know, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but shipping from Michigan <laughs> to Eugene, Oregon, always takes extra time. Anytime I buy something from the Razor Company and it's not Jason's fault, uh, or like Declaration is also in Michigan, um, I'll buy stuff directly from Scott. Um, and that takes a while too. So I don't know what it is, but something about things, that it must be the way they route stuff. Um, so I don't know if this is available anywhere anymore, and I don't know if Michael is making more or not. So, um, keep your eyes out, I guess, if you're interested. Uh, if you've watched my channel before, you know that I'm a fan of First Line Shave and what they do. So, um, I forgot my towel. This is in the 3.0 base, which I think is a very, very nice base. And um, I know a lot of what 
first line does is like clone dupes or inspired buys or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I think Kitua was a non-dupe scent. And this is, I believe, a non-dupe scent. So, um, and by that, I just simply mean, I don't think there's an actual fragrance out there that this is sort of based off of. So, um, anyways, so the story behind this one is kind of cool. It's called The Weight. Um, it's a neat concept that Michael came up with. I'm assuming he came up with it. Um, and uh, the weight is about um, those that have suffered a tragedy or a loss and the weight of that. And then the scent notes are sort of what people use to cope. So he says, you know, um, Michael is a law, in law enforcement and he does donate a dollar for every um, soap purchase to backstoppers, which supports first responders or fallen first responders or families of fallen first responders. Um, and so, um, but if you read the description, it's not just tragedy or loss for first responders, but for anybody, obviously we were in a pandemic year. We're still in, we're still in, we're still in this folks. It's not, hasn't gone away. It seems like things are opening up, but in reality, my county just went backwards and they upped the threat level for COVID here, which means that there are gonna be more restrictions and things for businesses. So I don't know if that means the restaurant's gonna to have to close back down for in, inside dining or what, but we are not out of it yet. So anyways, the scent notes on this, part of them anyways, are supposed to represent what people use to cope with tragedy, so whiskey, um, tobacco, gunpowder, vanilla sugar, so I guess you could cope by eating, right? Can death by quarts of ice cream, maybe? Um, and then uh, rose and patchouli. And then this also has saffron, white musk, uh, pink pepper and jasmine all blended in there. So, man, this Rockwell 6S is just smooth. I'm telling you, um, I was enjoying the Lupo and the Game Changer, but uh, going back to the Rockwell, it's still um, my favorite razor between, again, between this and the car on the B plate or the C plate. Okay, so I, it's a really nice scent to me. Um, it's a masculine vibe. Um, the rose is not very prominent, although I think I do get a little bit of rose, especially now having tried Zingari Man's number one and getting a good dose of rose. I think I pick up a little bit of rose. I'm not really sure what gunpowder in a soap smells like. I think maybe I get some of that. Um, I don't get any patchouli. Uh, I feel like I get the pink pepper. I get a little bit of spiciness out of this. Um, maybe it's not really tobacco forward. It's not really, I don't really smell it being boozy. So for like the whiskey and stuff, it's, it's not really, um, boozy. Uh, the, the vanilla sugar, it's not sweet either. So I think, um, I was a little, little worried about gun, the gunpowder. I've seen things with gunpowder in it where folks have had like some, some skin fragrance reaction type stuff. Um, I'm not, I'm personally not getting that here. So I don't know if there's just a small enough amount in there that that's not an issue. Um, but overall it's a well blended scent. Nothing really pops. None of the scent notes like just pop out and say, Hey, I'm, I'm in here. They blend pretty well together. This is definitely different than any of the other scents he's come out with, I feel like. 
Um, it does leave, it does give, like I said, a little bit more of a cologne vibe. I don't, if you're a seasonal shaver, I don't know that this has a warmness to it. So you might not um, use this as much, say in the spring and summer or when it's really warm weather, unless it's like maybe like a date night type thing or more formal occasion. Although for me personally, I don't, I do get the fact that scents kind of lend themselves to certain seasons, but I'm an equal opportunity soap user, scent user. So, so for the third pass, I just kind of pull on my skin. I don't do the traditional against the grain fools pass on the mustache area. Um, anyways, I think maybe like the, the jasmine and then the, the rose kind of make it a little bit lighter so it's not like as dark and heavy as like fallout um or some of those scents but and then kind of the sideways cleanup pass for me so the third pass on the neck for me is just kind of a cleanup because I have hairs that grow in odd directions. So anyways, if you like cologne type scents, um, this would probably be up your alley. Like I said, it is um, kind of a, a uh, more warm scent. So as we're coming into spring, um, if you are a seasonal shaver, you may find that this is not in season right now but uh, I will still use it. So, all right, I'm gonna rinse the face here. Um, and be right, and, well, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna roll it. Just a quick warm water, then a cold water rinse. So I enjoy the scent on this. Um, it's very nice. Uh, like I said, I do have a lot of first line. I think I've tried everything except the Razor Ruby Red. Uh, that's the only one I haven't tried. I understand that's pretty floral. Uh, Razor Ruby Undead is pretty good to me. I think it made my list of top 10 scents for 2020. Uh, but it is uh, florally, and I heard that Razor Ruby Red is even more floral than that. So anyways, um, so I'm a, I'm a first line fan. I like the 3.0 base. This is kind of what the pour looks like. Uh, there's my divot. All right, so let's get into the post here, get the splash on. I really like their splash. They're one of my favorite splash um, Splash makers, and this has witch hazel, um, rose hydrosol, aloe vera juice, fragrance, and this is alcohol based. So, anyways, one of the things that I like about their splash is that the scent strength lasts. I need a nice little pour there, a long time. So. I'm usually smelling this uh, well into the late afternoon, even early evening, and sometimes even at bedtime, I can get whiffs of it still. Whereas some things will dissipate and disappear a lot faster. For example, that moon soaps yesterday, the Sorrento, that was, uh, you know, the bomb, <laughs> I mentioned the bomb thing, um, and then the scent, scent longevity, is that a word, longevity? Uh, I'm gonna go with that. but. That's very high here for first line, which I enjoy. So if you like smelling uh, like your aftershave for long periods of time, uh, I think first line fits that bill. So there's my first line shave Friday. Hope you folks have enjoyed it. Hopefully you have a good weekend. I'll see you sometime soon on the channel. Probably not this weekend, but probably on Monday. All right. Thanks, folks.